All right, man, what's good with y'all, man? We're going to be doing something a little bit different, man. We're going to be checking out this how Elvis Presley spent his millions. Now, look, y'all, how do y'all think Elvis Presley spent his millions? You know what I'm saying? Multi, mega, mega superstar, man. How did he spend his millions? Was it cars? Was it houses? What did he spend it on? So, we're going to check out this video to see what he's talking about and see what Elvis Presley spent his money on. So, let's start this, y'all. Let's get it, man. We back on the Elvis Presley journey, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. Start it. Let's go. Elvis Presley used to make as much as $1 million per performance, but his last mm. lifestyle drained his fortune. And when he passed away, he was estimated to be worth just $5 million. Five million. His music would make million. Dang. One million. One million a show. Elvis, didn't Elvis Presley like do, do like over like what? A thousand shows maybe? So I'm going to assume that Elvis Presley like probably at his peak, peak of his career, like he probably, I don't know, maybe a net worth of over a billion. I'm gonna be real with y'all, cause like the amount of the amount the rate of shows he was doing at, at his pace and at his age, like throughout his entire career, man, I ain't a lot. Like a lot of his shows, like he was charging one million for shows, and he was doing shows so many shows a year. Like I'm, I'm gonna just assume it's a billion, and that's probably off. But let's 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 get back to the shot. Let's go. Would make millions even after his passing. But while he was alive, Elvis was a notoriously big spender. He would rent amusement mm. parks, book entire hotels, and he even wow. bought a pet monkey. With a collection of 200 mm. vehicles and one of the most famous homes in the world, Elvis's spending habits have become almost as iconic as his music. Here's everything wow. that the king of rock and roll blew his cash on. All right, let's Elvis get it. Presley grew up in a low-income area in Memphis, Tennessee, but his mm. talent would catapult him to fame, allowing him to buy <laughs> one of the most iconic celebrity homes ever. This is Graceland, mm. located in Memphis. Graceland. The 23-room mansion was purchased by Elvis mm. for 100. 23-room mansion. Oh my gosh, 23 rooms is crazy. Man, I wanted to let you like visit this place because it's it's Elvis Presley. He's a big superstar, so I I wanted to really like let you visit this actual place. That'd be nice if they did. But let's get back to the show. For one hundred two thousand five hundred dollars in nineteen fifty seven, or Man. more than nine hundred thousand dollars in today's money. Over Ooh. the next few years, Presley updated the home and bought surrounding land for more than five hundred thousand dollars. His mm. renovations included the pool room and the jungle room, filled Dang. with sticky furniture, plants, and a flagstone waterfall. He also installed a pool, media room with three TVs, racquetball mm. court, and a meditation garden. A While media Elvis room, a swimming pool. That man was living the life, man. Living lavish, living the life of a superstar, man. But he deserved it because he worked hard for it. It's not like he just woke up one day and got it. He worked hard for everything in life. And in life, when you work that hard in life, you, you got to spoil yourself at one point in time in your life. You got to. You just got to spoil yourself. And I feel like he spoiled himself, but he also helped a lot of other people. So I can applaud him for that. Elvis was originally buried in Memphis's Forest Hill Cemetery. His body was moved mm. to this garden after some thieves tried to steal his coffin because someone was what? offering two million dollars for it. The 14-acre property. Man, they got you. Got to be sick to even like really like two two million just for a coffin and like you think you're just gonna steal it? Like that? Was, oh my god! Like. What is like people just don't respect the dead? Like man, let the man rest in peace. That's that's the most disrespectful thing you can do. Try to steal someone's coffin and then sell it for two minutes. Man, that's crazy. That is that is that is insane to me right there. That's crazy. Property has since been turned into a museum with a guest house. It's now worth around fifty-five million dollars. Mm, the rejuvenation okay. of the property. So it did get turned into a museum. His ex-wife Priscilla Presley. While upkeep of Graceland mm. reduced the original five million dollars left in Elvis's will to just over one million, Priscilla managed to wow. grow Graceland into a successful tourist attraction and museum before passing it on to their daughter Lisa Marie. It's now mm, the second that's most visited home in the U.S. with six hundred fifty thousand visitors per year right behind Ooh. the white house the only floor never dang is the as is almost as almost as much visitors as the white house that is that is insane that's a lot of people coming in and out of that area man sheesh i mean i would expect though because he's like he, he's a mega superstar who wouldn't want to visit elvis Presley's house i think i, I would even want to visit his house to be honest like i would i go if i had a chance to i would definitely go 
is the second one where Elvis's master suite is located. It's mm. also where his body was found. Though it's reported that Nicolas Cage, who was married to Lisa Marie, got a private tour. <coughs> Elvis and Priscilla mm. also had a few homes in California. In 1967, they bought this $400,000 Beverly Hills mansion on a street called Billionaire's Row. The mansion okay. has since been modernized and was recently listed for 30 million bucks. Elvis's mm. other opulent Los Angeles property is in Holmby Hills. It recently sold for $20 million and includes things Oof. like a koi fish pond and a, a 20 million dollar house and a 30 million dollar house man i feel like for him being a big superstar and having to travel all around the world i think it's amazing that i even have that because it's you need i feel like you need that especially in the big cities you're gonna need these extra homes when you stop by these big places because he's always traveling so much he's going all around the world why not have a second home in a big city like that that's smart hey you got to do what you got to do i like that though let's go elvis traditional Japanese tea house. Elvis was also a huge car collector. During his lifetime, it's estimated he owned 200 different vehicles. He was 200 the cars and giving them to his friends and even random people on the street. The most famous Man. of his many vehicles is his pink 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60, valued at more than $500,000 today. His favorite brand in general was Cadillac. He owned more okay. than 100 of them. These included the Cadillac 100 Cadillacs, $10,000 and a customized Cadillac Series 75 Fleetwood limousine for $100,000. Mm. It featured gold-plated interior gadgets such as a phone, refrigerator, entertainment console. What? with a 10 record automatic chain a phone a refrigerator and oh my gosh that is crazy automatic changer record player a tv and a tape deck a, a tv a tape deck a, a recorder oh my gosh i would literally i would never why would i go anywhere else i got tv i got the tv in my car i got the refrigerator i can have all the food right there i would literally never leave my car and i got a phone why would I go anywhere else? I would literally live. I would live in my car. Would you live in your car too? I know that sounds crazy, but it's like if I had a car like that, I would literally sleep in my car. I would live in my car literally, bro. I would just just sit there all the time. Like it wouldn't be nothing else for me to do, to be honest. But I got a question for y'all. What is y'all favorite car of all time? Like it could be then or it could be now. And it could be any car. Like whatever it is, brand whatever. Like just let me know your favorite car of all time, y'all. Let's get back to this though, yeah. The interior paint was made with pearl, diamond dust, and oriental fish scales, and the hubcaps, mm. wheel covers, headlight rims, and front grille were gold plated in 24 karat gold. What? He also owned five Stutz Blackhawks. The very first mm. Blackhawk ever sold was purchased by Elvis in 1970 for 26,500 bucks. Other vehicles in his collection included a Mercedes 600 he bought for $15,500 that recently resold wow. for almost $300,000. A Lincoln executive limousine he received as a wedding gift, but was later sold for $165,000 as a collectible. Wow. A $7,000 1962 Ford Thunderbird and a Rolls Royce Phantom 5. Five years after buying Elvis gave the Rolls Royce away to be auctioned for charity, and it was later sold for $300,000. See, that's what they don't talk about. Like with these big celebrities, they might buy a lot of expensive things, but they also give back. He, you heard him say he gave it to charity, giving it to charities, hospitals, anything like that. Like that's amazing. I like early in the video that like before he started talking about the cars he kind of said like Elvis Presley was giving away cars to family friends and random people on the streets and like you gotta applaud him for that that's amazing right there you don't really see that too often with a lot of celebrities because you know what I'm saying they do have a lot of money and a lot of status so why not give give things away you gotta cherish you gotta cherish moments like that man that's amazing I like that Elvis hundred thousand dollars Elvis also mm. really loved his Continental Mark II which ended up selling for two hundred fifty thousand dollars the rock star Ooh. even has a tiny Messerschmitt KR 200 that he bought on a wow. crazy shopping spree in the mid 1950s today okay the car sells for up to eighty five thousand dollars some of the final mm. additions to his collection were a yellow de Tommaso Pantera he got in the early 70s the car became famous because Elvis shot it several times when it refused to start today these models wow. resell for up to three hundred thousand dollars depending on the Sheesh. condition one of Elvis's cars that visitors can see at Graceland is his black Ferrari Dino 308 GT4 that he purchased mm. in 1975 for $24,000. And finally, okay. the last car ever purchased by the singer was a two-tone 1977 Cadillac Seville. He reportedly Ooh. purchased the car. That car looked nice, man. That's a sexy car right there. 1977 Cadillac Seville. Mm. That thing looked nice. And it was only $5,000? I bet the stock went up because I feel like when Elvis Presley passed away, a lot of the things that was owned by Elvis Presley, 
since he was this big star, the stocks, the stocks are going to go up for any vehicles or anything that Elvis Presley owned. They're going to, like, it's just going to go up in value because of who Elvis Presley was. Big super mega star. And they, like, you know, I just feel like that, honestly. Are for $5,000, though it sold for more than $100,000 at yep. auction shortly after See? his passing. Elvis also owned his own yacht. Exactly. Back in 1964, Elvis paid $55,000 for the Potomac, a 165-foot wow. yacht once owned by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Sheesh. In today's money, Man. that yacht would have cost Elvis about $464,000. But, mm. always a charitable celebrity, Elvis donated the boat to St. Jude's Children's Hospital <laughs> shortly after buying it. The cars Man. might be a bit See? They don't talk about this and what's the celebrities, bro. He literally is giving. He gave cars away. He gave ships away to hospitals. Hospitals. He gave it away to regular people. Like, bro, that's that's amazing. You wouldn't even think. You would just think like all the celebrities are just selfish with their money. Bro, he's giving things back. I know he can't give it all back, but you got to applaud him when he does things like that. Like a ship. You A ship? A sh it's a ship, bro. You can, <laughs> What more do you want him to give back? He gave a ship away. <laughs> it's a ship. A bit excessive, but they are nowhere near Elvis's strangest purchases. Let's go. Elvis regularly spent money on the Memphis Mafia, a nickname wow. for his family and some very close friends. They partied wherever okay. they went, and Elvis would do things like rent out <coughs> the entire amusement park Liberty Land so that hmm. he could ride his favorite roller coaster. He also some not would do. Event games to play. One called Whip involved fifteen thousand dollars worth of firecrackers. He would also something not would do too. Hotels. Not gonna lie, that's something I would definitely do. Like I ain't gonna lie, if I had Elvis money. I would definitely, I would definitely run out an amusement park and go on my favorite rides. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I love amusement parks, but I just hate waiting in line. Like, no, I think, it, I think that's anybody. Like, you know, you go, you go to like a roller coaster, a carnival, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The line, especially on the best rides, the line is just from, it's just it's an hour, two hour wait, two three hour wait to get on your favorite ride. And it's like, bro, man, you spend like, you spend like half the day just trying to get on one ride, and it'd be like, man, I just want to ride. So that's something I would definitely do with in a firecracker game. Bro, I feel like I would do that too. I would just buy a bunch of firecrackers and just blow them up everywhere. Just throw them at each other. I don't know. Like, don't, 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 don't do what I do though. That's, that's not, that's not good. But you know. And his suites in each city were modeled to look like the inside of Graceland, so he wouldn't feel homesick. Elvis also loved wow. animals and had a large barn built on his property. He owned horses mm. and chickens, but his most unusual was Scatter, his chimpanzee. Oof. The chimp even chimpanzee. had his own wardrobe full of suits and ties. We're not sure how much Elvis paid back then for his favorite pet, but today's mm. chimpanzees sell for $60,000 or more. 60000 so for a chimpanzee, man, that is crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all favorite animal is, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, my favorite animal is a cheetah. I wish I wish I could have a pet cheetah. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know that sounds crazy. Cause the cheetah would probably eat me alive. It's a cheetah. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a wild animal, so it would definitely probably eat me. But if I could have a pet cheetah or like a pet tiger or something, I would definitely have one. Or a pet like a gorilla or something. I would definitely have one of those as a pet. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I know this sounds crazy. It's like a gorilla, a cheetah. Like, I really love cheetahs. I'm just fascinated by cheetahs, but you can't really have them as pets. Like, they would definitely eat you, especially if they got hungry. They would definitely eat me, but that's definitely probably a pet I want to have one day. So how did the star make his fortune and reach such heights of fame? Well, the person who discovered Elvis is this man, Sam Phillips, the head of Sun Records. His debut album climbed to number one on the Billboard charts, mm. becoming the first rock and roll album to hold that position, and it stayed there for 10 weeks. Mm. Elvis would make major bank from being Shh, on... The first rock and roll album to hit number one? Man, you gotta applaud him for that, man. Shh. That's amazing. I didn't even know that. I'm, see, I'm learning new stuff about Elvis every single day. And shout out to Sam Phillips, man. He discovered a superstar, bro. You just can't predict things like that. That's just luck. You you don't know that this guy's gonna be this talented. It just happens. And he blew blew up to be a global icon. Like, bro, that's that that's a phenomenon. You keep you that's like literally that's phenomenal. That's an anomaly. You can't make that up. Like you just that just doesn't happen. It's like a Michael Jackson or somebody, you know what I'm saying? That just when you have a star like that of that magnitude, that just that's just you can't you can't make that up. It's just random. 
being on stage. He was paid $50,000 each time he appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show and Oof. commanded as much as $1 million per performance. Over the mm. course of his career, he sold 600 million units worldwide. But near Oof. the end of his life, things got more complicated. His divorce from Priscilla was costly. The settlement mm. included $725,000 outright, plus spousal support, child support, 5% of Elvis's publishing companies, and 50% mm. of the money from the sale of their Beverly Hills home. But it was Priscilla who stepped in to honor Elvis's legacy and grow his fortune. She launched I like Elvis that. Presley Enterprises and increased the value of Presley's estate from $1 million to mm. over $100 million. It's amazing, man. She made a lot of the money that Elvis Presley lost back. That's amazing right there. But I really feel like... I don't really like when celebrities get married. I mean, I don't. I would like if I. I feel like if I was a celebrity, I wouldn't want to get married because because it's like it's just so public. Like you get divorced, you go whatever you go through in life, it's just thrown in people's face. Like so, people are only only thing they're gonna do is just judge you and judge your wedding. And it's like, bro, it's it's a regular wedding, but they're, since they're the superstars, it's like everything get judged. They break up, people break up. It happens, you know. People fall out of love. People, they probably still were still in love, but you know, people fall out, whatever, whatever the case may be, and it happens. It's life. Things don't work out. They decide to divorce, break up, whatever the case may be, and it happens. But it's it's so it's shoved in the public eye, so everybody has their opinion on it, whether it's negative or just or just 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 a celebrity. Oh my God, see, I'm talking too much, but just a celebrity in general, like everybody has a public opinion on that person, and it's and it's like it's horrible. I ain't gonna lie the company over to their daughter, Lisa Marie. Elvis Presley was the second richest late artist in the world in 2019 mm. and the fifth richest in 2020. We've got one last Ooh. fact for you about Elvis. He would reportedly spend $500 each week on groceries and he mm. loved junk food. His favorite thing to okay. eat was called a fool's gold sandwich, which was an Ooh. entire loaf of bread hollowed out and filled with peanut butter, bacon, and bananas. Thanks for watching. Mm. You enjoyed learning Peanut about butter, bacon, banana, jelly. Oh my God, that sounds like a good sandwich, man. He said, I love hey, junk food. I ain't gonna lie. I got, a, I got a big problem when it comes to junk food. I just be eating everything in sight. I really love junk food, but like this, this is a pretty good video right here. Enjoyed learning about the king of rock and roll. The king of rock and roll, man. I definitely learned a lot about Elvis Presley through this video, man. This is an amazing video. Let me know what more videos y'all want to see next, cause I'm definitely gonna keep them coming, and we gonna keep, we gonna just we just gonna continue this Elvis Presley journey throughout the entire year, man. It's gonna be an amazing journey exploring Elvis Presley music. I'm loving it a lot, y'all. I'm enjoying this journey with y'all, learning more and more about Elvis Presley. Hey, but look, y'all, man, we out, man. Peace.